What's up guys? This is Hylian Mum and today in Grounded I'm going to show you how to complete the Haze Lab and get the Haze Super Chip. So some things you're going to need for this is the Splat Burst or the Brat Burst in order to blow open the Haze Door and you're also going to need an axe to chop up some fungus spores. So we're going to go ahead here at the Haze Entrance which by the way the Haze Lab is right here on the map. If anyone didn't know right there is your uh, location. And we're going to lay this down. Blow open the door, go on in, and we start the biometric scanner here. And don't mind the glitch of the headless willow. And that unlocks our haze lab. Once you're inside, you can switch out your gas mask. You will no longer need it inside. So we're just going to get our armor on. In this first room, we have a loot box to the right. To the left, we have a shelf with some resource items. On the table, we have a file. And over there, we have a cassette tape to collect. So that's all the items in this room. We're going to go straight through and we're going to go down the hall. When we come into this next hall, we are going to have some tasties to deal with. Busting is most effective for them, so I have a hammer here to deal with them. There are two in this hallway. So we're going to get rid of them. Now, in this hall, we have a red door here. We're not going to open it yet because there are some infected weevils behind it. We're going to instead go straight through to the next green door, which leads to Mushroom Hall. In Mushroom Hall, we have a cassette tape you can collect. Keep going through and you have Fungus Room. Now, this room has a lot of strange spores that will explode. It can get quite dangerous, but if you run along the left path from door to door really quickly, you should be safe from any of the explosions. So as long as you're moving quickly, you should be good. The open control is just over here. You can trigger that fungus, so just be careful. Once you're in this room, we've got some items on the table, loot box to the left, but what we need is this lever. So as you can see, there's a door on the screen. When we activate this lever, we're going to unlock that door. There we go. So now we're going to backtrack. Uh, so this way to the right, we're going to jump over that cabinet and run really quick from door to door. Now, whoop, uh, one thing of note is there is some raw science in the back corner if you do want to get it. Backtrack through this hallway. And now we're going to open our red door. There's usually about five weevils or so in here. They're pretty easy, you know, to just trigger themselves. So just go on in. Watch out for the fungus, of course, that will be around. All right, and once you've killed and triggered all the weevils, now one important note is to the right, down in that darkness, there are some items you should go get. That's pretty important. But we're just going to go to the left, which is the way towards the lab, following this cord. It's going to bring, uh, bring us to some water here. And we're going to swim through, and we'll have a fork where it goes uh, left and right. The right way is just an underwater entrance. It's an alternate path into the haze lab where you don't need to use the gas mask. I have another video on that as well. But to the left here, we have our unlocked door that we basically did. And that leads us into this hallway where you have one more file to collect here. Now, beyond this door is the infected ladybug fight. So don't activate this button until you are ready to take that on. Some tips for the infected ladybug. The one in the lab here has 900 health instead of the regular 800. They are susceptible to busting and generic weapons. So a really good uh, combination that I have is either an insect or a black ox hammer with the black ant shield so you can uh, block her attacks or you can use the red ant club that I have as well. That's also another good one for her. Now, she will spawn minions. If you are in multiplayer or woe mode, she'll in, she will spawn mites and infected larva. So those are both susceptible to slashing weapons. So that's why I have the bone dagger here. Another good one that works is the black ant sword for them as well. Uh, they are all susceptible, all of them, to fresh. And at this point in the game, the only thing you can get with fresh effect is the minty arrows. So if you get mint arrows, that'll work for uh, another uh, effect bonus. So what we're going to do here when we go in is I am going to be using my axe first in order to chop the three spores down that explode so that I don't have to worry about them. If you are playing multiplayer with a team, I suggest you guys discuss quickly before you go in uh, who's going to do what so that you guys can get through the, uh, the horde of minions because it does scale up quite a bit and get more chaotic. So here we go. 
And there she is, infected ladybug. First thing I'm gonna do is take care of these guys. There we go, one down. Second one is over here by the exit door. Now, if you're at a distance from the infected ladybug, she will only toss strange spores at you, of course. And the third one here in the back corner. All right, so this is the infected ladybug. As you can see, she is shooting spore bombs. Each time she does that, she will shoot four at a time. She has three other attacks. That is her lunge, as you can see. She has... She has a bite. Her lunge is her bite. So that's her bite. She also has a side hit she can do. So we'll see if we can get her to do her side hit. But here we go. I'll show you guys. We got some fresh arrows here, basically. So as you can see, the fresh arrows actually do really good damage. I do have an upgraded crossbow, of course. So the more you upgrade it before this fight, the better damage you're going to do. But if you want to be a distance fighter, the arrows really will help. Let's get out of these uh, spores. And now let's try out the combo of the black ant shield and our... We gotta get her to trigger her close-up attack. There we go. Come on, baby. There we go. See? So you basically take, like, no damage. She's gonna... She alternates, so if you are close up, be careful, because her spores will go off almost every other move I've noticed, even if you're close up. Side hit. So the black ant shield, like... It's full protection. It's amazing. Now, here I have a black ox hammer. This might be a weapon that people don't have at this stage in the game, as it is a tier 3. But people will commonly have the insect hammer. So, insect hammer level 5 will also do pretty good with the black ant shield. As you can see, it does a good... Oh, sorry, babe. Didn't notice that. It does a good amount of damage on her. So she's not that bad to fight, as long as you know her, her little tips and tricks. If you've got the shield, you'll be golden. If you always keep an eye out for her spores, that's her side lunge right there that she did. She also has a back buck, but she doesn't very often do that. I have honestly not seen it once. We're gonna get out of this corner here. So just always watch out for those spores and you'll be golden. Let's finish her off. Oh, sorry, babe. I also have ladybug armor on myself, and it is upgraded to level 5 as well. And it's pretty good for protection. So if you take the time to upgrade your stuff, she is no problem at all. Once she is done, we are going to go up here, and we're going to hold our biometric scanner. When this door opens, we will have about 10, I think it is, infected mites to deal with. So while she didn't spawn any in in her solo fight, she does have a whole bunch here behind the door. So we're just going to deal with these guys. They honestly, I find with my armor, they don't do too much damage. So I don't even really worry about them. You guys, hello. And there we go. So how many do we have here? Actually, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Seven of them? Looks like seven of them. Seven-ish of them should be in here. Now, this is the final room, guys. So once you're in here, you've got a cassette tape here on the side. And you have some items on the shelf. And you have what we wanted the whole time. The Haze Super Chip right here. So that's how we get this, guys. Hopefully this helped anybody who was having trouble with the Haze Lab or with the infected ladybug fight. I am by no means an expert. And, you know, this fight is pretty easy to handle once you know what to do. So, as always, be kind, stay legendary, and may the Triforce always be with you guys. Hylian Mum out.